I'm I did crime committed zero mom my soulmates committed finger out of nose <gasps> my soulmates committed zero crimes yes and that's good sweetie no that's not good yes because that means he's a good young man no get that finger away from me <sighs> i want a bad boy a bad boy why would you say that because then he can keep dad company in jail. Sweetheart, your dad's not in jail. Yes, he is. I hear him talk about it all the time. Honey, he works at a jail. He's not in jail. Same thing. Just saying my dad's in jail is easier. Well, that explains why your teacher asked me if it's okay for you to write him a letter. <gasps> my soulmate just committed a crime. Lucky. Jess, that's not good. I don't want to marry a criminal. One crime doesn't make them a criminal. Why do you want a bad boy anyways? You know they're not all they seem to be in the movies. Well, I want to find that out for myself. <laughs> Finally, we're getting somewhere. Really? How many crimes did they commit? Two. But at least I know he's not a goody two-shoes now. <laughs> Billie Jean. Guess who soulmate's crimes committed hit quadruple digits. Girl, he went from zero to a thousand in less than a week. I know. I said I wanted a bad boy and he delivered. A thousand is a lot. What kind of crimes did he commit? How would I know? If you click on the number, it will tell you everything they've done. Really? Yeah. That's how I knew my soulmate was a cannibal, among other things. You should click it. Uh, there's the bell. Tell me after class. All right, time to see what you did for those 1,000 crimes. It's not going to be like 1,000 murders, right? Theft, borrowed a pencil and didn't return it. Indecency, wore shoes without socks. Violence, stepped on someone's toe. He's not a criminal. He's just a normal teenager. There's got to be something bad in here. Vandalism, Sharpie bled through on a desk. Attempted murder. Went whale fishing in Ohio? Like, really? Violation, violation, violation. All jaywalking. You've got to be kidding me. So, is your soulmate the baddest bad boy? Not even close. His crimes are hardly crimes, mostly just bad luck. What do you mean? For example, one of the times he didn't wash his hands after going to the bathroom, and they wrote him up for the attempt to spread infectious diseases. Okay, but that's really gross. Oh, I'm not arguing with that, but like that's the type of crimes he has. Like really? I didn't want a bad boy who doesn't wash his hands. I wanted a bad boy who might trespass in order to watch the pretty sunset. I told you, bad boys are not like they are in the movies. What's that look? His numbers just doubled. Doubled? How is that even possible? I don't know. He's got a talent for committing crimes, that's for sure. What do you think you're going to do? I'm gonna have to see if they can change my soulmate. You did ask for a bad boy and the system delivered. Yeah, I learned my lesson. Don't ask for a bad boy because you might get a semi good boy who just has really bad hygiene. Hey, watch where you're going. You ran into me. Whatever. Hey, wait up. Hey, I'm talking to you. If this has something to do with me running into you, don't be a Karen. You were blocking the hallway. <laughs> wow. Okay, so not only have you committed 2,000 crimes, but you're a jerk, too. Wait a second. How do you know how many crimes I've committed? Lucky guess. Don't play with me. Someone had to have told you. You're right. Someone did. Okay. Who? The system. The system? But that would make you my... Soulmate. It's nice to meet you, too. Hey, let me restart, okay? I'm Gabe. Jess. You're not going to shake my hand? No offense, but I know you don't wash your hands after going to the bathroom. Hey, that was only twice, and it was to get my count up. I had heard they considered it a crime. I just didn't realize I'd get fined for it. They fined you? Yeah, being a bad boy comes at a cost. They fined me $10,000. Oh my gosh. So why exactly are you trying to get your count up? I mean, I think 1000 was a pretty good place to stop, don't you? I'm in this little off-the-grid competition. Whoever gets the most crimes in seven days gets half a million dollars and a job. $500,000? Yup. 
which I really need now because these crime fines have racked up quite the bill. Plus, this job will have me set for life. It's an 18-year-old's dream. And what exactly is the job? It's for the Mafia. You're doing a competition for the Mafia? Hey, shh! Quiet! No one can know about this. Or they will kill me. I'm sorry, but I can't be with someone who's involved with the Mafia. Well, is your soulmate everything you dreamed he would be? A little too much. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm still gonna see if the soulmate counselors can change it. Jess, hey! I can't stop thinking about you. And look, if you don't want me to be in the Mafia, fine, okay? I won't take the job. But I still need to win this competition. Because otherwise, I'm about to start college with a bigger debt than student loans. You're really gonna turn down the Mafia for me? You just met me! Yeah, but you're my soulmate. And I want to try and make this work. I don't know where I'm supposed to end up in this life, but ending up with you feels right. Okay, well, how far are you in the lead? I'm not. I'm actually 500 behind. 500 behind first place? We can work with that. 500 behind third place. So fourth place. One more behind that. Fifth place? Times two, I'm in 10th place. You're in last place, aren't you? Yeah. Well, it's a good thing you've got me by your side now. Your quickest crimes so far have either been the violent ones where you run into people or the attempted murder where you spread the virus. Those are going to be your best bet for getting ahead. They said if I tried to spread an illness again, they'd send me to jail. Lucky for you, that might be okay. What do you mean? I know a guy. You know a guy in jail? Who? My dad. So here's the plan. You're going to go into the bathroom and not wash. Then you're going to try and shake as many people's hands as you can before security catches you. Once security catches you, we already know they're going to take you to jail. Once you get to jail, you're going to ask for my dad. And then you're going to give him this. Tell him it's for me. If all goes well, he'll get you out of there. And why exactly is your dad in jail? Should I be scared? No, he works there. Oh, so he's not in jail. Yeah, technically it's at jail, but it's just easier to stay in. But time is ticking, so go. Thanks, Jess. If all goes as planned, I'll buy you something nice Just after. focus on winning, okay? I'll be watching your count. I really hope this goes well. His score is going up. It's working. It stopped going up. He must have got caught already. Now to wait and see if he gets out. Any updates? No, I haven't heard anything from my dad and his count hasn't gone up in three hours. And you're sure he didn't get hurt or something? I mean, what would be the plan for that? There's no plan for that. <coughs> Hello? Dad? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thank you. I owe you big time. <sighs> We're back in business, baby. He's almost at a million crimes. He has to be in the lead. I am. In fact, I won. What? The competition's over? Yep, it ended a few hours early. Everyone else was locked up and they didn't have a girlfriend's dad to get them out. Oh, so I'm your girlfriend now. I mean, if you want to be. Actually, I don't. For real? Well, just not yet. You haven't even taken me on a proper date yet. How about this? We go to the courthouse so I can pay off all these fines. Then I take you out on a date. I'd like that. What do you have in mind? Dinner? Movie? I was actually thinking if you were comfortable, we'd sneak into this old abandoned school and watch the sunset. It has the best view. But if you don't want to, I could think of something else. That sounds perfect. <laughs>